Hey guys, Dan here. Tonight we're going to be playing Bloodwash by Jordan King and Henry Hoare. This was just released a few days ago, September 2021, and it was published by Puppet Combo's label, Torture Star Video. Uh, there's a lot of hullabaloo surrounding this game, a lot of accolades, and it's all well deserved. It's a, it's a great game. I'll talk more about it as we go along. Let's get started. What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course, Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. All right, so we play as Sarah. This is our apartment. Uh, we share it with our deadbeat boyfriend, Liam. Sarah's a pregnant college student, and she's been looking for a part-time job to help with bills and whatnot. We can explore the apartment here, but our current task is to gather our laundry and head to the basement. Liam's in the bathroom, hungover. Now, I've played this part before. Uh, this was included in the demo that came out last fall. It kind of uh, wet our appetites for the full release. And I've played several other titles by this developer, but this is the first real 3D game he's made with uh, first-person perspective. And his use of uh, PSX shaders and VHS filters and stuff really shows he's learned a few tricks from Puppet Combo, and everyone is making comparisons, but I don't know. This game definitely has more story than most Puppet Combo games I've ever played, and that combined with the macabre quirkiness and frequent call-outs to various horror tropes, I think it's safe to say that Jordan King is developing his own little style, you know? Alright, so we can interact with our neighbor's doors uh, for a little more backstory. And here's the first mention of the Womb Ripper. I'll let you read this. Okay, the Womb Ripper is the game's antagonist. And as we progress through the story, this will be made more and more clear. We're on the third floor. Uh, let's continue on to the basement. Now, from here on out, creepy elements are going to be slowly introduced. I mean... Now we have some ominous breathing in the background. We can check these lockers here, uh, and we can hear some of Sarah's amusing thoughts. <laughs> And we find the washer is broken. So we can't do our laundry here. A noise from the closet. God damn girl, you scared the bejesus out of me. I scared you? You scared me. 
What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time, maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's uh, broken. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. <laughs> I've seen some other videos, and let me tell you, that jump scare gets everybody. <laughs> so bravo, guys, for throwing that in there. All right, let's, uh, let's head back up to our apartment. Here we notice someone is standing in the hallway. What's up, Sarah? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk, yeah. Look, you'll tell me if it gets bad, yeah? I know it ain't easy to talk about, and you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. My sister used to be in a bad situation too, and there's places you can go. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't that some shit. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late. Especially with that maniac roaming around. I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. Okay, we've learned about the laundromat on the edge of town, and obviously that's where the meat of the story is going to take place. We can grab our purse. Should we tell Liam that we're leaving? No? All right. Hurry, and you might be able to catch the next bus. Thanks again, Stan. All right, let's hurry back downstairs and get the show on the road. There's an achievement in this game that we'll get for speaking to every character. So don't worry, I'm going to show you every one. And I'll also mention a few other achievements later. Hi there. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls, they, they took it from me. Oh God, she's here now! I should probably leave him alone. Poor guy. Um, we're a little early. The bus hasn't arrived yet, so we can kill some time. Check this out. A strange car has pulled up, and it's stopped in the street. Are they watching us? That's super weird. Anyway, if we go if we go back here, there's a homeless person we can speak with. Got any change? Sure, I have a couple dollars. Better than nothing, thanks, kid. Haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Oh, a college girl, huh? What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's in. Oh, that's great. I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two. Okay, we just heard the air brakes on the bus, so now we can go board and get going.
Where are you heading at this hour, if you don't mind me asking? The laundromat on the outside of town. Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. <laughs> that guy's not being very neighborly, huh? <laughs> now, I miss it here in this playthrough, but there's a Polaroid picture on the back seat that I should have grabbed. There's lots of notes and collectibles in this game. I'll make sure to point them out. Sorry I missed the first one. Alright, so we're the only passenger so far, but after a time, the bus stops to pick up someone else. A strange, tuxedoed gentleman has arrived. It's so bizarre that he stands right next to us. Why don't you grab some seat there, pal? <laughs> Let's just ignore him. Another jump scare. Hello. May I sit beside you? There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. May I... May I sit beside you? Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? You're going to die tonight. What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you... You will be found, just like all the others. Ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. Please, just stop talking. May I sit beside you? Alright, miss. This is your stop. And now this is our chance to get away. I love this title sequence. So awesome. Alright, thanks for watching. Come back for the next part.